Thank you, Chair. I've got a couple of questions that just relate um, like this morning to WA stuff. You folks are all right if I ask about the renewable energy target? Yep. On the right spot. Um, were there any discussions? I might have to throw some of these through you, Senator Birmingham, if I stray into policy development, but what discussions, if any, did the former Liberal State Energy Minister or Premier have about a state-based renewable energy target? Any, any that anybody sorry, can recall? Sorry, sorry, any former Liberal Premier? Ever? Sorry, Western Australia. Right. Just here repping right. for WA today. Okay. Um, uh, none, none that I'm aware of, uh, Senator Ludlam, but that's not to say that there weren't. Are uh, you able to go back and check for us on notice and just see whether they were? Take that on notice, sure. Thank you. Um, can anybody tell us where Western Australia is up to in its obligations under the Renewable Energy Target? Can you just give us maybe a broad brush overview of how we're tracking? Oh, no, well, um, I'm not sure there are. Yes, a, a state or... doesn't have individual obligations right. under the Renewable Energy Target. It's a Commonwealth-based target and the renewable energy can come from any state. Yeah, I understand that. And I also understand that states... So states don't have any kind of either formal or informal obligation to... Um, uh, obligations to have any, a certain number of renewable energy certificates, for example. We could build everything in Queensland and that would, that would be fine for, the, for Western um, Australia. That's correct. Under the renewable energy target, um, the... It works by an incentive, if you like, yeah. obliging electricity retailers to gain certificates. So um, it's, there's no particular state obligation uh, or target. Okay. Do you have the information to hand as to how many credit synergies having to purchase from other states to meet the LRED? Uh, I would not have that specific information to hand. Uh, my colleague, uh, Mr Williamson, might have some idea of the generation that is in Western Australia, but we probably don't have that specific figure for that to company. Hand. Or if you can point to where I can find that on the internet, is there any way of tracking leakage, if you will, of certificates from one state to another. I'm interested in industry development in WA. Other senators are here to represent their own states. And the more of that stuff that's built in WA, the happier I'll be. But how, how we track that kind of thing? Um, Senator Mark Williamson, um, it's very difficult to do that, but I can give you some numbers in terms of the pipeline of projects Ms. Swirapik talked about. Uh, I would I'd appreciate that, but it's a little bit at a tangent. I'm, I'm interested in the pipeline. I was going to get to that, but... Um, to what degree is WA either ahead or behind if there were to be a kind of per capita LRET target? Are we punching above our weight or whatever the opposite of that is? Uh, on the last numbers that I saw overall, about average. About average, so about 10%. Yes. And my figures are really different to that. So um, tell me how I get uh, reliable figures on how WA is doing. Because I am um, actually of the understanding that we've fallen... Senator, behind. I'd be happy to take on notice yeah. what we can give you um, to try to enunciate that. But I did uh, talk at the WA Power and Gas Conference recently, and it's running close. But in terms of the pipeline of announcements at 3,900, that's really where WA is falling behind. Just talk me through that, if you could. Sure. The, the 3,900 um, uh, megawatts of announcements... At the moment, around about uh, 100, 180 is uh, uh, from WA. So, so up until recently, tracking OK, but, uh, n but not in that pipeline of announcements. 180? 180 out of about 3,900, correct. So that's about half our per capita obligation, isn't it? So just uh, the figure that I was going to bounce off you was that WA would need to get about 300 meg up and running in order to meet a per capita target. So it's not really true, is it, that we're, so that we're roughly... Can I just um, yeah, of course. confirm, we don't actually express our numbers on a per capita target, so you're asking us to um, Either, uh, sorry, talk to numbers that we don't really put together in that fashion. That's fair enough. In terms of total grid capacity then, would... What, well, what? I think that's what Mr Williamson is saying. So of the recent 3,900, I think you've said 180 oh, has come from Western yeah. Australia. All right, look, I'm, I understand that distinction, so that's useful. But uh, 180 is still a long way from 300. And is my 300 number in the ballpark? 
uh, Senator, as Ms Swibrick says, we, we'd have to take that on notice and see what analysis we can do to give you that. I, to me, 300 sounds low. Mm. Uh, in overall sense, to meet the 2020 target, we have to roughly double the existing um, uh, generation above baseline. Right. Uh, so it would be more than 300 WA would need. Okay. Um, all right, you don't have these numbers at the table, so that's fine. I'd be really <coughs> interested to see what you're able to come up with. You're aware, obviously, that WA, like some other parts of the country, is substantially over capacity. How, about, how big a problem is that in trying to meet these renewable energy targets when you're trying to inject new projects into a network that, climate considerations aside, doesn't necessarily need them? Uh, Senator, that's not our role to look at that. Uh, we certainly uh, communicate with the Australian energy market operator um, and give them uh, all the data we can to assist them. All right, we got them a little bit later tonight, so I'll, I'll, if they're in the room, um, that's that's the direction I'm going to go into. Um, so there's no penalty then for not uh, not building stuff in a given state or territory. It's just a national aggregate. That's correct, uh, correct Senator. The uh, um, the obligations on the liable entities. So, okay. so, so there's a penalty on. <coughs> For example, a major retailer operating yeah. in a state if they don't have enough certificates to remit. But they could but just as easily get those certificates buy from. a certificate from Tassie or from whatever. That's correct. correct. Yeah, OK. Um, so the questions that I'm putting to you aren't based on any obligation in actuality, but just on the raw numbers. So I presume you understand where, where I'm going with that. Um, have you got kind of rule of thumb for how many projects would need to get built and by when for WA to meet a notional uh, state-based target? Uh, no, Senator, we, we would have to take that on notice. Yeah, if you could. And I, I get that that's going to be very and, and dependent on the, the mix. A notional <coughs> state-based target of an even share of... Even share of capacity. Yeah. Right. So I've been schooled away from using per capita, and I get that, but an, an, even, or an even share of generation according to capacity. That'd be really valuable. And I think... That's it? 